All right, what is going on, everybody? It's Paul. You're back again today. We got a chest and tricep 5 a.m. workout, and we also got a bonus clip afterwards with a bit of a date that I had with my girlfriend at some Korean barbecue. So I decided to show some more real life stuff. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell icon. And yeah, so just to give you guys an overview of what we're doing, we're doing high reps high volume moderate to low weight in these early morning workouts we're working on no food and it's super it's still pretty cold out here in new york so you want to make sure you warm up the joints and really really take your time even if it's 10 to 15 minutes when you get to the gym to warm up these joints and get the fluid into them people skip this i know guys that have jumped straight to their max as soon as they jump to the gym they're just asking for injuries so uh Word of advice, I've done this for 10 years, no injury, you always want to warm up. So we're doing cable pull downs or push downs, whatever you guys want to call them with a the rope. And this is for the triceps, multiple angles of that. And yeah, we're doing this with super setting this with the, the chest flies as well as diamond push ups. So I didn't really catch a good angle of that on the camera, but that's what we're doing. We do basically 30 seconds of rest and there's three of us here, me and my boys rotating from these machines um sometimes we jump in and throw a little bit of curls in there just to keep the warm-up going but for the most part like i said we are just targeting the triceps there, trying to get that full horseshoe and right now we're cutting as well so everybody's just trying to get lean we're not trying to hit any prs we're just trying to get as lean as possible for the summer and as you guys can see the cuts are going to start flying out here in the video so the more videos i record the better i can keep track of my progress and see where i need to improve on and Yo, I was just thinking back to like a year ago when the gyms were on lockdown and now that everybody's coming out of the pandemic, a lot of people, including myself, put on a ton of COVID weight during the times there. I shed it off most of mine, um, but right now, if you get back into the gym and you really put in the work, you can really, really stand out this summer with just having what was an average body last year. I would say like just actually just being fit because everybody... It's, it's basically a multiplier right now. If you try to get yourself in shape, it's like it worth, it's worth twice as much as it was last year because of what's happened in this weird, weird chain of events. So, but yeah, as you guys can see, we're just a lot of sets, probably like four to five sets, 10 to 12 reps. We try to keep it um, nice and slow and contracted. For me, from what I've seen, the best type of gains are made from time under tension. So the longer the muscles burning, the longer uh, you get that feeling in there and that huge, huge pump, that's where the most of the gains are. It's both controlling it on the negative. I'm not really trying to swing the weight around. As you guys can see, those elbows are tucked in. It's just that one muscle really trying to focus in on there. And yeah, that's what I try to practice and preach to everybody. Just try to keep as good form as possible. Sometimes it's not always right. Sometimes you're fatigued or whatever, but try to keep the form as good as possible, or at least attempt to. Not always is it going to be um 100 but for the most part just try to do that and try not to ego lift and like swing the weight around try to keep it controlled no matter what as long as it's controlled both going up and down you are going to see some serious gains and it's going to be a bit safer that way for you so that's probably some of the best advice if you guys want any more tips let me know in the comment section below and if you guys want to see more real life stuff and more of me talking to the camera live let me know as well the reason why i have to talk over this afterwards is because of these damn face masks you can't really do much when you're in the gym every time you take the mask off they're just like heckling you to put it back on or just giving everybody your uh, reminders so but yeah here we jumped onto the bench and we did this for about five sets i would say and just really burnt it out um we did so basically as an overview we did cable uh pull downs with the rope or push downs with the rope um chest flies we both did upper and lower as well as we did bench press flat bench and then we were going to go head over to dumbbells and also attack it from upper and lower just really working this all out and it only took us the time spent of maybe an hour and a little bit of change there um but we really burnt this out remember like i said this is a 5 a.m workout so we're not going for any crazy prs we have zero food in our system and it was a cold morning so like i said while we're all shredding down we're going to stick to moderate weight high reps high sets and just low rest for most of it and that's also a key to keeping muscle especially when you're cutting so try to, just try to keep the muscle active I always do like the home workout and stuff like that but for me when i think about weightlifting or anything like that i came from a construction worker background my father 
uh, let me work with them for years and years. I never found like I, there was a point when I first started working out that yeah, I wanted to lift heavy ass weight and all that stuff. But then as I went further into the years, I felt it in my joints and stuff like that. I was like, yo, for me, it's not functional. None of these movements you ever really did in manual labor anyway. It wasn't really unless you're doing strongman stuff. But other than that, like none of these general lifts you you do you do in the day to day in the working field or otherwise you have technology to cover for it. So to me. I feel like I want like the best sculpted physique as well as functional in terms of like boxing and stuff like that or being able to convert this over to that type of stuff or even MMA um but that's the way I see it I like to stay in a very very slim and uh healthy-ish physique it's still natural that's why I still like prefer natural bodybuilding but to each his own everyone has their own goals these are just mine and my take on it everybody else has their own take on what they want to do with their body and for me this is just what fits my mold but all right, we're going to be going over to the Korean barbecue part with my girl. If y'all want to see more of us vlogging our day to day, let me know in the comment section below. By the way, guys, we're 420 friendly, so we do smoke a lot of weed. We work out and do all this stuff at the same time while doing this. So please keep that in mind. And yeah, at least it's legal here in New York. Finally, finally, after all these years. But if you use them, use it responsibly. Life is pretty damn good. And I think most of y'all know that. But anyway, moving along. Myself. I'm gonna make a weed to the count. Okay. And God damn, I would pay to see that. If I was a simp and I wasn't dating you, I'd pay to see you smoke. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm big mama. I'm big sexy mama. <laughs> She's blowing our covers. You just start at OnlyFans. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. <laughs> what? You just have to flex your muscles. <laughs> no, this is actually relaxing for me. I'm stretching the back. And you're trying to flex yeah, your muscles too? Yeah, this is flexing. Too? No. Yeah, it no. is. No, That's no. why you're blushing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was not trying to flex. I don't really know how you would stop 